Hello, I'm Trevor Sides, Project Manager of Bonfire Effect. Welcome to the very first episode of Soberish History. It's like drunk history, only soberish, and we're not celebrities. In a few days, Americans will wear green clothes, drink green beer, and eat corned beef and cabbage, all while celebrating St. Patrick's Day. But who was St. Patrick? We thought it'd be fun to ask the Bonfire team how well they know their St. Patrick history. I'll be asking them some questions, they'll be sipping some Irish whiskey, We'll see what happens. Oh, the Irish word for cheers? Cheers. No. Cilantro. 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 Welcome to Silver History. Cilantro. Thank you. Oh, yes. Cilantro. 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 What was that? Cilantro. Cilantro. I thought you said cilantro. 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 Slancha, not Salancha. 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 It's good. It's really good. Because I'm sober. Cheers. Slancha. 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 That sounds Polish. It does. Is it Polish? It's not. It's Irish. It's Irish. It's Irish for cheers. Isn't it? Was it Gaelic? I don't think so. It was just Irish. Their language is Irish. Yeah. I don't think that's right. Are you Irish? I'm Scottish. I am like the antithesis of the Irish. Are you Irish? I am. You are. And you're even wearing a green jacket. Green. Wait, are you Irish? Uh, no. Uh, I'm Norwegian and New Mexican. <laughs> half and half. <laughs> Roughly. Let's talk about St. Patrick. Was St. Patrick Irish? I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> I think he was... <laughs> I think he was Mexican. <laughs> I just want to come out and say something for, for first. I oftentimes confuse Cinco de Mayo <laughs> and St. Patrick's Day, so. A few days ago, my answer would have been, yeah, of course he was Irish. You're gonna say yes. Well, because yeah. I know two things about St. Patrick. He's actually my father. Bring it. He was your father. Good. He has more hair than you. I think he was British because it's just like the British should take everything from the yeah, I mean, their biggest holiday, their most important person. Of course, he would be British. That's the most Irish thing I've ever heard. <laughs> but one's in May, <laughs> and the other's in March. I understand that, Trevor, but have uh, you? Do you? Yeah. But then you so kindly... Wait, I gave this away? That he oh, is not. Right. <laughs> he was not. He was a captive, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he was captured and forced to be Irish. I know all the answers. <laughs> Did St. Patrick drive out the snakes from Ireland? First of all, I don't think there were any cars then, so there was no driving involved. No, he's British, so. <laughs> <laughs> I knew something about snakes. I thought that was, no, that's not Moses. Moses is not about snakes. I thought it was sheep. He drove out all the sheep from Ireland. He was a herder. Do you think it was likely that St. Patrick was a sheep herder? you're a missionary you're probably helping people out so maybe he helped him herd sheep and then got to know him and chatted with him so he could have been a sheep herder i mean if it has anything to do with th snakes there could be something about that no sheep herders okay. big fan of snakes or he's not a big fan of snakes i feel like it should read your face here and we're getting nothing i know i've heard he was a shepherd but nobody yeah. said a shepherd of what you know like can you be a shepherd i know it stands for sheep but like shepherd of cows yeah. Shepherd of snakes? I don't think there maybe are, I don't think there are shepherds. Maybe of cows. just hear me out. Maybe he was a shepherd of snakes, and that's where the rumor comes from. He took all the snakes, took them from Ireland, took them back to England. What was St. Patrick's profession? What was his profession? Well, besides being a snake herder, besides being a, yeah, being British, he brought a lot of uh, religion <laughs> to Ireland, which I think they both hated and loved him for. Pretty sure he was a bartender. I don't know if you'd call it a profession, but I'm. Uh, I think he went to school to be a saint. School to be a saint. Saint school. Saint school. <laughs> yeah. I like that. I've never heard that before. They're, saint school. They had a, a fight song. <laughs> uh, <laughs> when the saints go marching. <laughs> Possibly. Which church officially named St. Patrick a saint? I'm going to say Catholic. We're all crazy. I'll go with the Catholics. They the Catholics. Of, they have a lot Is of Is that saints. like the internets? They like their saints. What color was traditionally associated with St. Patrick? Oh, I guess I don't know everything. Again, I think it's a trick question. And... Hey, 
ah, another misconception of Senor St. Patrick. <laughs> uh, blue See, would be the blue. correct uh, color of St. Patty's Day, um, but they ran out of uh, CMYK toners. It's not green. <laughs> Uh, Not yellow green. Okay. Yellow. <laughs> I feel like it should say green. Because I feel like that's a thing. I don't want to say red because that's Santa Claus. Also true. Um, I believe there was a 362C Pantone, which is a spring green, and it's lovely. I'm sticking with green. I know it's probably not because I feel like it's too easy of a question. I feel like it's a trap. Like, you'd be like, oh, it was red because yeah. something sad and Irish. Like, he stabbed all the snakes that were that he loved, that he had spent so much time hurting to England. <laughs> and they wouldn't let him on land, so he had to kill them all. And he made red as, like... How do you yeah. herd snakes across the sea to, to Britain? You know, that was a big question. I think maybe that's why they made him a saint. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna say, let's say, let's go with red. St. Patrick and Santa Claus, I don't know, yeah, I feel like that's good. Or green, let's just say green. Okay, I'm we'll flip-flopping. He's gonna stick with red. I'm gonna get, go with the red. Thank you for coming on Soberish History. Mm-hmm. Yep. And just remember, every man is sociable until a cow invades his garden. Bailey, thank you for coming on to Soberish History. Thank you for having me. And just remember, there's no need to fear the wind if your haystacks are tight. No need to fear the wind if you're his. That's just what I needed. Ben, thank you oh. for coming on to Soberish History. Yes. Here's to eyes in your head and none in your spuds. Indeed. May the cat eat you. Cat eat you. And may the devil eat the cat. Cilantro. Cilantro. Just remember, what butter or whiskey can't cure, there is no cure for it. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. There you go. Tis better to spend money like there's no tomorrow than to spend tonight like there's no money. Uh, we need to compare shirts <clears throat> really quickly. First things first. I like that. So, I got the Tay Sway. Tito Sway. And you've got, you've got the Beatrix Kiddo. Yeah, you know, Kill Bill. It's actually a way cooler shirt though thing I noticed, in America it's four, four leaf clover, that's yeah. the lucky one because you can never find it. Right. But in Ireland it's actually the three leaf clover because that's the clover that's everywhere and they need all the luck they can get. And if you're Metallica, circa 1999, it's no leaf clover. It's no leaf clover. No leaf clover. Yeah, that's pretty dark. Oh, this is how you... <coughs> Holy Spirit! Is that like, uh, salute? Yeah. Amor? Yeah. Email. Cheers. Prost. 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 Okay. Uh, Nas the Dravi is Czech. Oh, gotcha. It's my favorite. Nas the Dravi. Teach you one. Uh, Shara Karabam. Shara Karabam. It means uh, cockfight in Kurdish. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Slancha. Slancha. No, slancha. <laughs> is corned beef and cabbage good? Mm. Absolutely not, but alcohol is.